My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D, birthday 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany. I just got done uh, reacting to the video where I'm showing you the thumbnail now, where um, she posted her um, up-to-date weigh-in, of course, without showing any proof, just, uh, you know, showing us a picture of a scale, um, where she claims to be 523 pounds, I think. Um, so she posted this on uh, today, April 9th in 2023. About uh, two months ago was her last way in. Here's the thumbnail of that. Um, she posted that video on February 6th in 2023, so almost exactly two months ago. And uh, especially this video stuck out to me because that is the one where she claimed to have um, solved so many problems concerning her um, unhealthy relationship with food. And so I'm going to react yet again, but only to the parts that are relevant to uh, what she said in today's video. You know, just for us to compare. And so in order for us to compare, <clears throat> so um, in the right bottom corner, there's uh, Amber almost two months ago. And in the left upper corner, the thumbnail of today's video. Um, the lighting is slightly different, uh, but I want to say you can tell that she has gained weight um, and a lot of weight at that. Let's get on to the questions. First one is, what's helping you this time? A lot of people say one day at a time and I disagree. I feel like it's one discomfort at a time. You guys have been hearing me say the word discomfort a lot lately and I think I want to explain a little bit more what I mean by discomfort. So when I feel the urge to eat when it's just like out of boredom or out of like emotional eating or just like the food addict in me that is the discomfort I'm talking about. Normally, I would just cave into those cravings, I would cave into those feelings, and I would just eat because, not because I was hungry. Listen, it's not when I'm hungry. That's like the deciding factor here. Be okay, she can wave her hands all she wants, and this is from, again, this is from two months ago. But what she's completely ignoring is the fact that she needs to learn new coping me mechanisms when it comes to dealing with emotions, which means everything she's explaining right now, even if she had come to these realizations, it would help her a lot, but it would only be, uh, you know, a few steps in the right direction. But she still hasn't grasped that um, she eats for every emotion she could possibly have. That is why when we see her depressed, she gains weight. When she's happy, she gains weight. Um, the past few months, she's been pretending to be happy with a few uh, peppered in uh, crying videos. Um, but she has that that overall problem that she doesn't know how to deal with her emotions and she just eats for every emotion. And that is something she still hasn't learned how not to do. And that's biting her in the ass because as motivated as she sounded in that video from two months ago, um, she still gained weight. So after a lot of rambling, she finally gets to the point, just like she did in today's video. Towards the end of the video, she mentions how much she weighs. Of course, she doesn't show the weigh in because she's just telling us numbers that are not correct. But to nail her to what she said, we're going to listen to what she said two months ago. So now on to my weight. So last Sunday, I was 515.0 after losing five pounds that week. So yay me. 
and today I was 508.2 so that's 6.8 pounds down 508.2 and here's what she had to say two months later today April 9th in uh, 2023 um, I'm gonna be following my dietitian's rules you know doing everything that she wants me to do like food wise so Sounds like she's saying from now on, because so far, just like I said in every single video that I reacted to, she has not been following any instructions. I'm really excited for that to start showing up on the scale. But here's my weigh-in for today. I did take a picture for you guys, 523.6. And it's sad because I did think I was back in the 400s. Yeah, that's only lies from that point on. So 523 minus 508. That means she's trying to make us believe that in the last two months, changing from look at the left upper corner to the bottom right corner, she has only gained 15 pounds. And um, I'm glad she didn't say that she lost any weight, which which is what she's done before. Her level of lying is just um, ludicrous. Um, but I wanted to compare these two to show you something. There's absolutely no way that she's only gained, gained 15 pounds, but apparently she's too lazy to look up when she did her last weigh-in and what weight she told us at that time. The entire time since she's been clickbaiting um, weight loss surgery, she knew her real weight because she was being weighed at the clinic. That is probably one of the first things they do along with you know, or after uh, taking your personal information, asking you if, uh, if health insurance and um, things of this sort. You know, they weigh you. So she's been knowing her weight. She just didn't share it with us. And the last time um, she told us a weight i'm not saying it was the the she was being truthful uh, but the last time she told us a weight was 15 pounds less than she weighs now and there's absolutely no way because what she is forgetting is that she showed herself in blog during vlogmas um, full size full body and she's recently done that and there's no way that that's only 15 pounds and so amber if you're listening to this if you want to lie don't insult the intelligence of your audience, right? Because it makes it, it I, I don't know, it, you make, do you take steps in the opposite direction? You want a good relationship with your audience unless you want to continue to be a biatch and be mean and only focus on the haters because they're increasing in numbers with the amount of lies that you tell. And nobody would ever believe you that from this, and, and, and I'm aware of the fact that she was wearing makeup, that the camera was down, which means her in the left upper corner and um, her uh, double chins should have been pressed like even more. Imagine if she did this now, push, you know, put, put down her um, uh, chin how big it would be. So absolutely no way it's only 15 pounds. And there you have the reason why nobody wants to respect her anymore. Everybody is tired of her lies and wants to see her come clean and become an authentic person or turn into a complete bitch, not turn into, but you know, show the real bitch that you are. Do one mukbang after another and go out like that. That is the other option. But what you are doing now is absolute bullshit. That is an insult to the intelligence to anybody in the audience that has eyes uh, um, to see with. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave it at this. I didn't mean to make this this long. I just wanted to um, to compare the two um, so that we, we see it. So, yeah, she's still lying, you know. Uh, let me know what you think. Maybe I'm way off. Um and uh, again, I'm taking into consideration that in, in, you know, two months ago she was wearing makeup, today she was not. Uh, but look at the size of her face alone. I'm not looking at the eyes. I'm not saying her eyes look more awake in the, uh, in the video two months ago, which they did. She looked more energetic than she did today. Today it seemed like just, you know, cranking out the lies to keep the vlogs uh, going, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm taking that into consideration and I feel 15 pounds is idiotic 
you know, she should have added a few. But um, again, it's just a number. I don't believe the number. I think she's heavier than she lets us know. She's only lying to herself. If the weight loss clinic is actually watching this and knows she's even lying about her weight, I mean, you know, she's only shooting herself in the leg, not us. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. Uh, enjoy your Easter weekend. Bye. Mm -hmm.